Hello and welcome to Americans Learn. My name is Lauren and today I am looking at a Kyrgyzstan. Wow, I said that so bad. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to try again. I can't say that. Uh, I'm looking at it in a nutshell. It's been a minute since I've looked at one of their videos, but this time they traveled back in time and physicists are angry. I am looking forward to this. I've enjoyed these videos before. I hope you will enjoy this as well. And now without any further ado, let's watch this little birdie go back in time. You're going forward through time one second every second. Congratulations, <gasps> you're a time traveler. Sweet. A bit lame, but let's start here to get to the fun of real time travel to ride on dinosaurs and high five Einstein. Time isn't really a thing that passes, but a dimension, a direction you can move in. We think our universe is four dimensional, with three spatial and one time dimensions smooshed together into a fancy thing we call space time. What you experience as time passing and your life happening is actually you moving through the time dimension. And this dimension is a bummer. What? <laughs> it's a bummer. Actually, time is a big bowl of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. How about that? You can go forward, backward, left and right, up and down in the space dimensions. In time, you can only go forward. You only get older, never younger. Aww. You can't make detours. But this is an illusion. You have far more control over how you move through time. To explain how this actually works, without making a maths video, we have to make a lot of physicists grumpy. So please keep in mind that Good. we're simplifying and lying a bit. <laughs> okay, so simplifying and lying. But as long as we get to make some physicists upset, I'm okay with the lying. <laughs> thing in our universe moves at the speed of light through four-dimensional space-time. Your speed through space-time is the sum of your separate speeds through time and space. It's impossible for you to stay still. Even if you're not moving through space dimensions, you're moving through the time dimension, blasting face first into the future. You can slow down in the time dimension by moving faster through the space dimensions, but in total, you will always move at the speed of light through space time. Hmm. If you could somehow truly stand still in space, you'd still move through time at the speed of light and the other way round. Photons, light particles, move at the speed of light through space. They don't experience any time passing because their speed in that time dimension is zero. In the okay. time dimension, they're frozen in place. If you see light on Earth, from the photon's perspective, it was just on the surface of the sun and then suddenly crashed into your eye with nothing happening in between. How rude! <laughs> Remember, we're telling a science story here. Oh. In real life, things are more complicated. For one, it's impossible to truly stand still relative to space itself. You can only be standing still relative to other things in space. And right. you can't really define a reference frame for photons as we just did. For details, check out our sources. But now... Sources are in the description, by the way. I'm just like, it is kind of a pit. It's like, man, because you can not move in... Like, well, you, you're always still moving in space, too, because the Earth is always moving. So, like, you can't really stop anything. It's all useless. You have no control. To our story. Okay, so everything in the universe moves Banana. at the same breathtaking speed, but this speed is split between space and time, which leads to all sorts of wacky things and where we can see time travel happen. Real and easy time travel. When a bus drives past you, it's moving a little bit faster through space than you are. So, it moves slower through time than you. Or how it's usually worded, the bus is moving slower through time relative to you. While this makes things feel like weird physics magic, it's very simple. Mm. Move faster through space, go slower in time. Okay, so that's sometimes why you, like, you can have that weird optical illusion where it looks like the plane is just hovering. Like, that's a thing that people have witnessed. It's like, it, it, like usually I think they're in cars, but like, it looks like the plane is just holding still which is weird. Or I guess that's why things look like they are, you know, move backwards or like you're moving back. It feels like you're moving backwards. That whole phenomenon. Okay. Move slower through space, go faster in time. And if you had another person moving way faster or slower than you, both end up traveling different distances in the time dimension. 
The right. story that's usually told to demonstrate this is to get twins, force one of them into a rocket against their will, shoot them through space super fast while the other twin chills on Earth. This is the story that's usually told? What? Why? Who has told this? Who has told this one? And because one twin moves very fast through space, while the other moves slowly on Earth, they move at different speeds through time. When the rocket finally gets home, they're no longer the same age, and the younger space twin is ready to start years of therapy for being abducted by theoretical physicists. <laughs> this is yeah, they the are. Twin paradox, and it makes perfect sense within the rules of the universe. If you want to learn more about the paradoxes of time, we made a video about it. But in a nutshell, you're using time dilation. The fact that your position in time is subjective and only true for yourself. With okay. fast rockets, you could get as far as you want into the future. Technically, this way you can witness the end of the universe or look at the final thing that will ever happen. We also made videos about that. And then you would die. We should mention that there's another way to jump forward in time. Massive objects bend space-time, causing time to go slower near them. On Earth, the effect is tiny. The gravity of our planet makes time pass 0.0000007% slower than in deep space, far from any gravitational fields. Hardly useful for time travel, but it's a start. That's interesting, if you though. If into a really strong gravitational field, like around a black hole, the closer you get to the event horizon, the slower time passes for you. If we kidnap our twin again, they won't notice it at all. Their watch ticks as fast as it always does. Because it's relative to them individually. Okay. Okay. All right. From the outside, they seem to almost stand still. Only when the twin leaves the gravitational field and comes back to Earth do they realize they time traveled. Okay, so you can travel to the future. That was an amazing way to make that little birdie look so sad. By going fast or near a black hole. But this is pretty lame and has little <laughs> downsides, except for people who want to sort of teleport into the future. And it makes building a gigantic human space empire super hard because even if we develop the technology to go really super fast between stars, going on a faraway journey will always mean leaving your home as you knew it forever. Yeah. But now that we know... Okay. That's an interesting one that you don't really think about when you're taught... When, like, I don't feel like I've seen too many sci-fi stuff that incorporate a major human empire like that. that or, or like a place that has a lot of different... Uh, planets that are inhabited it doesn't really explore that ever like in star trek they can always just go back to earth right i don't i have not actually seen very much star trek um <laughs> but like i feel like usually they can just kind of go back they always have a home base right and they can usually go back to it i think interstellar did it different where like he spends time on that water planet and by the time he gets back, his daughter's dead or something. I don't know. I didn't watch Interstellar either. But, like, I just don't know. That's interesting. I hadn't... That would be an interesting thing to explore more in science fiction, I think. The fact that you can't... Without the ability to time travel... <laughs> Maybe that's what hyperspace is for? Maybe they'll explain it. They usually do. Right, seconds after I have a question, they usually bring it up. There's actually a way we could use the rules of our universe to travel backwards through time. Okay. The past is a faraway land. Let's go there. So you always move through space-time at the speed of light. If you go fast through the space dimension, you slow down in the time dimension. And here we find an actual opening for backwards time travel. The theory of relativity, okay. which may be the most solid scientific theory we know, does not forbid faster than light motion through space. If you move through the space dimension faster than the speed of light, superluminal, you need to move through the time dimension with negative speed. That means you go backwards through time relative to the rest of the universe into the past. Actually, scientists have been looking for superluminal particles and given them a name. Oh, dang. Oh, I've heard of tachyons. They would have wild properties like getting faster when they lose energy and, of course, traveling backwards in time. Finally, real time travel. Just like with photons... Why have I heard of tachyons? Why have I heard of that? I haven't taken a science class in a long, long time, and I didn't do well at them then, and they certainly remember nothing from them, so... <laughs> I, or very little. <laughs> I remember very little from my science class. Why have I heard of tachyons? I must have watched it in a Doctor Who episode or something. It isn't really possible to clearly define how time passes for tachyons themselves. 
It depends on how you move through space-time relative to them. But now, for the first time, some observers could actually see tachyons literally traveling backwards in time. Really? They could be used to directly interact with the past. In theory, you could use them to send messages to your past self and change all sorts of things that have already happened. Maybe with some tachyon power huh. sci-fi future tech, you could see a star die before it was born, meet your great-grandparents, prevent your past self from making that one dumb mistake, win the lottery, or get eaten by dinosaurs. But would you though? Like, wouldn't that cause that? That brings in multiversal theory into a uh, like into it as well, because one would think that if it was possible and there is only one universe, then it's already happened. Like. You know, you could send messages to yourself and like, that's how, like, you're, that's where you're getting your second, your sixth sense from, you know, like you feel like someone's watching you. Um, and then, or like you managed to like duck out of the way of an oncoming car and you're like, oh my God, how did I know that was going to happen? It's because you had a person from the future let you know, <laughs> like, but then it's already happened and it doesn't, you know, it was always that way at the same time, you know, do I make sense? I think I make sense and create juicy time paradoxes that also kind of break the universe. Oh, what's that? Right. <laughs> They're mad. It seems there are things in our universe that are impossible to mix. Unfortunately, the theory of relativity specifically forbids anything that starts out traveling slower than the speed of light to reach the speed of light because moving faster through space requires energy, and the energy required to reach the speed of light is literally infinite. Oh, okay. Even if you could gather all the energy of the universe, you couldn't accelerate a grain of sand to the speed of light. You can get as close as you like, but you can never reach it. It will always win. To move at the speed of light as photons do, but they always move at the speed of light. If you move superluminally, you will always move superluminally. And, sadly, so far, we don't have the tiniest bit of evidence that tachyons exist. Right. While they work on paper, most scientists think they're not real. So for now, it seems that time travel into the past is strictly impossible, no matter how hard we try. The past is a faraway land, and while we can look at it in pictures and movies and our memories, it's locked away, forever outside of our reach. While this is sad, it leaves you with the most important time there is, right now, the moment where you actually exist, and a future that's yours to forge. If you want, you could even time travel to it. You really don't have much of a choice. Luckily, shaping the future is much easier than trying to change the past. With the right knowledge and problem-solving skills, you'll be ready for whatever obstacles or opportunities lie ahead, which is where our friends at Brilliant come in. Another brilliant. You're a better thinker and problem solver with thousands of interactive bite sized lessons on just about anything you may be curious about, from physics and maths to technology, data analysis, and beyond. You can build real knowledge in just minutes a day, a terrific use of your precious present moments. On Brilliant, you'll learn through discovery by trying things yourself. Their course on scientific thinking, for example, gets you hands on with fascinating questions like the ones in this video. And since each course is like an immersive workshop, you'll gain knowledge of key concepts while building your intuition, helping you learn to think like a scientist. Kurzgesagt has also partnered with Kurzgesagt to a series of lessons to take your scientific knowledge to the next level. I think I was closer with that than I thought at the beginning. Each one is like a one-on-one -on -one version of a Kurzgesagt video, letting you further explore the topics of popular videos like rabies, mammalian metabolism, or climate science and supernovae. And you can get started whenever, wherever, right from whatever device you'd like. To get hands-on with Kurzgesagt lessons and explore everything Brilliant has to offer, from AI and programming to math, science and beyond, start your free 30-day trial by signing up at brilliant.org slash nutshell. There's even an extra perk for Kurzgesagt viewers. Anyone signing up through our link will get 20% off an annual membership. That's a damn good deal, y'all. Anyone signing up through the link? And this video is going up, like, maybe just a few days after the original video goes up. So this is valid for you. Once they're trying to For sure, for sure. We found a way to evade the laws of the universe and go on a truly breathtaking time travel adventure. Are you ready? Well, too bad. Oh. Here we go. Oh, I was like, I was like, yes, I am ready. And then too bad. I was like, oh, man, we're not going. Look, it's we're the going. human era. 12,000 years of human innovation brought to life. 
absolutely incredible how our ancestors laid the foundation for the life we lead today. Let's go back even further and take a look at the timeline of life. Wow, humans are only a tiny blip at this scale. Mammals haven't been around for long either. Here's the age of the dinosaurs. And going further back, we can see where it all began. You can now go on your very own time travel adventure with our Timeline of Human History and Timeline of Complex Life posters. Cool. They're expert approved and designed with great love and care. They're really cool get looking. Both <laughs> to get the full time travel effect and to support everything we do on this channel. Sick. Those do look really cool. Like those posters. I love their art style here on Kurgistat. 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 <laughs> well, nope. I can't say what their name is, but I like their art style and I do find their videos very interesting. I do hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, you can absolutely find that link um, to their video on their video, but just pop over to, you know, you can use, you can use the link to their video in my description box and it'll be there is what I'm trying to say there. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all in the next one.